Hello friends, welcome to Machinto Tutorials. In this video, I will discuss about uh, what is a preference. In general, preference in Magento is helpful to implement or overwrite the class. Means, let us consider two classes, class A and class B. Whenever you want to override class A method into the class B or child class, so you have to write a preference okay, for overriding the class or uh, override the method. So you have to consider preference. How you can change uh, this get name method so that class A method will not work but only class B method will work. To override the class methods use this preference so that Magento will not call parent directly. It will first contact class B if the method exists in child class then this method will return from the child class only not parent class. In Magento we can change or modify the class use using reference or plugins or observers. Right now we just only focus on preference. In the next video I will discuss about plugins and observers. Okay. Now we will see how to implement this preference. Let's go to our code base. Okay. Now go to app code your module etc da.xml file. So in the last video we created this preference for repositories right so like that we will create one more preference preference for where for defines the base class or parent class which you want to override so i want to override magento default uh, catalog model product model product what this type represents This is the child class which you want to override. So I will add some product. Okay. Model product. So in our module, uh, check this uh, model exists or not. Otherwise, create it and uh, create this file product.php. Okay. Under the model, there is no such file with name product.php. Okay. Just create one file name with product.php. Okay. So here. In space. Your directory. Hello world model class. So what is the class name? Product extends model product. So why I am extending this file? Because in the di.xml I have mentioned this. Okay. In simple way, whatever the file you are overriding, just extend that file. Okay. Okay. Here is the product. So I want to override uh, the get name function in this file. Okay. Get name, this one. So just copy this function. Here I want to change the return. Okay. So let me print test. Now let us check in the front end that all the product names have changed to test or not. Okay. Just uh, flush the cache. Okay. Cache flushed. Go to front end. Okay. See here all the product names has changed to test so this way you can override the class methods using the preference okay not only the name you can also change the price or any other options according to your requirement okay so this is how you can create a preference in magento 2 so this way you can override uh, class methods from parent to child
you can override any method in the parent class okay if you have any public method then uh, instead of using this preference you can use the plugins okay in the next video we will discuss about uh, plugins okay in this video we just uh, seen that uh, override of this model function so what about the blocks and helpers and controllers so similar way you can override blocks helpers and controllers also okay in the next video we will discuss about the plugins and uh, we'll see what is the importance of plugins over the preference okay thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel